Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard and I got a quick video for you today. I just got some very exciting things in the mail. Murray over at Paladin Exotics sent me an email, said he wanted to send me out a little mystery box. And it just came in the mail today. So I wanted to open this up and put everybody in their new enclosures, let you all see what I just picked up. Cause there's some pretty exciting species that I don't have. Now I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. He just told me he wanted to send me some tarantulas in the mail. And what I received in the mail are five fossorial tarantulas, uh, three different species. None of them I have in my collection. And I'm pretty excited about them. All right, so let's get everybody in their new homes. Oh yeah, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Thanks. Now these are fossorial tarantulas, so I got my basic spiderling fossorial enclosures that have a lot more substrate than a normal terrestrial tarantula would have. I fill up these enclosures about two thirds of the way with substrate. Now all of these species prefer more uh, humid environment, the damper substrate, so I already got the enclosures set up and ready to go. To start off, we're gonna open up a Syriopogapus levitus. It's a, a green form, so I don't have a green form tarantula. I just did a video on this species uh, last week and I discussed the green form, but I didn't have one to show. So uh, now I've got two of them, which is pretty exciting. So let's get these guys uh, set up. See that little one right there? Whoa, where are you going? Oh, you. This little one tried to run away. All right, we got one down. Now with these fossorial species, I always like to make a little bit of a starter burrow form. That way when you put them in the enclosure, they won't run across the side and back out the top like uh, the first one just did. Uh, usually they'll dive right down to that burrow. So they don't stay out for very long, but it makes it for a much safer rehousing. Now the next two tarantulas are uh, more from the Syriopogapus genus. These are C. Von Worthy. I've never had one of these before, so I'm pretty excited to add these to my collection. All of these have been a runner. Now this little guy's already kind of uh, made himself a little hole, so I gotta be careful to open up this one because uh, it looks like it could run out very easily.
Now this fifth and final spiderling is another fossorial. It's an Ephipobus ottoman, also known as an emerald skeleton tarantula. This thing is gorgeous when they're full grown, so I'm pretty excited to see what it looks like as a spiderling. Oh wow, it's, <laughs> it's tiny and so colorful. It reminds me a lot of the blue fang tarantula. All right, let's get its new home. I'm normally, normally I don't feed tarantulas as soon as I uh, unpack them and rehouse them, but this one's looking pretty hungry, so I'm gonna drop a little confused flower beetle larva in there and uh, see if it may want to eat that. All right, I'm gonna let them be for now. I dropped a little bit of flour on that poor guy, but seems to be settling in nicely. A uh, huge thanks to Paladin Exotics. Murray, thank you so much for sending that out. I appreciate it. These are some awesome species. I can't wait to share videos with you all as these are growing and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm kind of enjoying this old vlog style and doing unboxings. I'm gonna show you guys some of the different enclosures I've got in here and kind of give you another tour since the space has changed a lot since my last tour and who knows what'll happen. It'll just kind of be like uh, just little fun videos. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. So just trying to get the word out about the channel. So I appreciate any support you could throw my way. As always, you can check out the tarantulacollective.com for Tarantula Collective merchandise, as well as links to all the different social media accounts I'm on, as well as links to other YouTube channels and podcast, Facebook groups, and I mean, you name it. Kind of a one-stop hub for all things tarantula related. I upload new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday. And if you want to support the channel, hit that join button down below this video or use the link in the description and check out my Patreon community. It's always great hanging out with you guys. Make sure you stay safe, stay healthy, wash those dirty hands, and I will see you this Tuesday. All right, you gotta check this out. While I'm sitting here shooting this video, I got a snake keeping its eye on me. Well, of course, now she goes and uh, hides.